if you have been following me on Twitter, you'll know that I have been sort of talking up a secret special project that I've been working on. Um, and I decided that today's the day I'm going to announce it. Today being Monday, I thought Monday was a good day. I am going to be releasing a chapbook of my selected writings. I thought I had lost this stuff when I moved, and I opened a box this last time when I moved. And lo and behold, there it all was, kept in the same place together. Um, and I'm super excited to have it all back and get to read it all again. And I thought that I would really like to share it with all of you so you could read it as well. The chapbook is going to be called Because a Girl, Selected Writings 2001 to 2009. It's going to be poetry and prose. Um, this is stuff I started working on when I was 16 years old, all the way up until just a couple years ago. The chapbook is going to come out on September 9th, which is my birthday. Until September 9th, you will be able to pre-order it. There's a link in the Jubilee Do. Um, I have to wait that long because I have a couple poems, three poems actually, that are going to be published by the Dead Mule School of Southern Literature in September, and so I have to wait for the rights to revert to me before I can put all this stuff out in print. Um, but I'm super excited about being on their site as well. If you haven't checked it out yet, they, do, they publish amazing Southern um, poetry and prose every month, so you guys should highly check that out. There's a link to that below as well. Anyone who pre-orders will get an extra something special in their package. There are going to be two ways to pay for this chapbook. The first is to PayPal me. You'll, there'll be a little buy now link. You can pay me $5. The other way will be to make a donation of $15 or more to any registered nonprofit charity organization. So I'm thinking things like Red Cross or Doctors Without Borders or Charity Water. Um, you'll then take a screen cap of your receipt and you can black out any information you want to except your first name, the date of the donation and the amount of the donation and then email that to me. Link to my email will be below and it'll also be on the site. Some of you are probably thinking I've never even read Alex's writing before or heard her read it. Why on earth would I want to buy it? So in order to give you guys a preview I'm going to be doing a series of videos where I'll read you a poem that's going to be in the chat book. There's about 25 pieces that are going to end up in the final version of it. Um, so I'm going to do a couple from now until the release date so you guys can get a sense of what it is like. So the poem I'm going to read for you guys today is from summer of 2004 and I've always been really proud of it. I think it works really well out loud um, and it is like a lot of my poems about a boy. And it's a little bit racy. It's called O. Oh. Oh, to hold part of all the sounds falling from your mouth and to keep them here. No, I never erased the message you left, but I don't listen to it either. It's just there, suspended somewhere, your shifted cadence and the way you made your voice a dare. Oh, to tumble from your tongue, to be that string of words threaded tight together and dirty too. See, the problem with this is I see it in a context. Of course I see myself on a plane to New York knowing that I belong to some scene, some night scene where you grab me gritty and walk watery wet in a hotel room where you flip me on my stomach and say the stars are shining through you, in you, in you, but no. We've done that already. I walked those hotel halls, my hair wet, my dress just barely on straight, my underwear in my purse. Of course, of course, it was so expected. It was so what I wanted. You, naked, framed in that fifth floor window as I walked through the door into the dark. You grabbed me from behind. Every time I say it out loud, it sounds like rape, so I don't talk about it much as of late. I just think about all the things in you I didn't have time to find. I didn't tell you, but I stole the coffee mug you left behind. It was either mine or the cleaning staff, so I thought I could use it to remember you by. So thanks for watching, you guys. Um, subscribe if you want to keep up to date with the poems I'm going to be releasing between now and then, and visit the links in the doobly-doo um, in order to get more info on the chapbook and how you can order it and all of that. See you guys next time.